terrorism played havoc in almost all parts of the country. A brutal terrorist leader produced human bombs on behalf of a dream that would not become a reality. Innocent civilians became victims. A fence was built dividing the brotherhood that existed between the North and the South. Isn't this brutalism a flagrant violation of human rights? The track for the operation of the Yaldevi from the North to the South was obstructed. It was devastated by the terrorists. They did not stop there. A bomb was hurled at the Yaldevi train and shattered into pieces. There was an era in which the rural fraternity in the villages bordering of the north and the east had to die in the face of terrorist attacks. Isn't this brutalism a flagrant violation of human rights? The voices against the terrorists were subdued by the gunfire of brutality. Isn't this brutalism a flagrant violation of human rights? Hundreds of lives were lost at Kituluthua, Aranthalava and in Peta in face of terrorism while there were no protests raised from the world. Not only the airport and the oil terminal but the central bank was also exploded but the country was left in the lurch. Isn't this brutalism a flagrant violation of human rights? However, the country succeeded in routing the terrorists, creating a peaceful atmosphere. The children who trod the Wanni, Mannar and Kilinuchi will hereafter not hang cyanide capsules in their necks. They can also pursue their studies in schools Son's fear and suspicion. There will be no threats to children as well as adults from the terrorists. They can breathe a sigh of relief in buses, railway stations and even at their workplaces. All this was done by the prudent leader. <laughs>